ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys once again for supporting my channel and stay tuned for the video. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys want me to come out here and talk about the whole Gucci situation. So if you guys do not know, Gucci released their new line of sweaters. It's called the Balaclava Jumper. And basically, the girl puts the sweater over her mouth and it looks like she's literally in blackface. So this entire situation is crazy. We posted about this days ago on Instagram. Here go some of the pictures. So once this picture went viral, of course people were upset. Gucci released an apology. I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what Gucci had to say. Go ahead and check this out. So Gucci says, Gucci deeply apologizes for the offense caused by the Will Baklava jumper. We can confirm that the item has been immediately removed from our online stores and all physical stores. We consider diversity to be a fundamental value and to be fully upheld, respected, and at the forefront of every decision that we make. We are fully committed to increasing diversity throughout our organization and turning this incident into a powerful learning moment for Gucci team and beyond. So then after that, T.I. comes on and he basically is really upset and this is what T.I. had to say. He says, at Gucci, as a seven-figure year customer, a longtime supporter of your brand, I must say, y'all got us fucked up. Apology not accepted. We ain't going for this. Oops, my bad. I didn't mean to be racist and disrespectful towards your people shit. Y'all knew what the fuck y'all was doing and we ain't going for it. We all got to stop buying, wearing, and supporting this piece of shit company and all pieces of shit companies until they learn to respect our dollars and value our business. Our culture runs this shit. We, people of color, spend $1.25 trillion a year, but we are the least respected and the least included. If we stop buying anything, they must correct any and all of our concerns. That's the only way we can get some respect put on our name. I don't give a fuck if I have to wear Target brand shit. Hashtag fuck Gucci. Then he goes on to say this, Gucci call to action. Stop buying Gucci for the next three months. If you own anything Gucci, do not wear it. This means clothing, handbags, belts, shoes, cologne, perfume, everything. Share with your network. Then he goes on to say, this is the agenda. If you go against this movement, it won't go unnoticed. If you with us, repost us or else. Hashtag fuck Gucci. And then he went on to post this video. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Gotta show Gucci what it feels like to not respect us enough to know our communities and to know Man, our culture. Man, just stay out them motherfucking stole for three months. Stay One out of quarter. it. That's stay right. three months. Stay your ass out of there. Yeah. Just stay, stay out, out of there. Don't buy it. Don't wear right. it. Don't That's make right. sure it ain't in your video. If a motherfucker, if you a DJ, you see that shit at a party, call his ass out. You yep. know what I mean? Same yep. thing for you, girl. That's the thing. It got to be from the top down. You understand right. what I'm saying? That's and right. when they feel it, they going to rush to the table. That's right. Get, yeah, so saying they saying sorry is not enough. Like, there needs to be an investment in our communities and in the issues that we care about. You can't just be like, I'm sorry. Nah, we need to understand what is their commitment to now address. Honey, T.I. is not here for the Gucci foolishness, okay? So right now they're doing this whole Gucci boycott. A lot of celebrities are talking about it. A lot of folks are on board, including, you know, uh, Soulja Boy, who has a Gucci tattoo in the middle of his forehead. He's talking about removing. Waka Flocka has spoken out about this as well. And Uncle Rushcard is also talking about the situation. Y'all can go ahead and read what he had to say. He said some pretty deep stuff about how basically... Fat Farm, Sean John, and all the black clothing lines were basically wiped out of Macy's. So y'all make sure y'all check out what Uncle Rushcard had to say. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Gucci is canceled. We're only rocking Fendi headbands from now on. Fendi everything and fashion over. Fendi fashion over. Hey, man, I've been watching all this shit about these high-end designers like Gucci. Now, uh, what was that, Prada? Uh, Prada doing that shit. My advice to y'all is stop getting mad at all white people. Get mad at the companies and the old motherfuckers. Cause those are the racism. 
the little kids, they ain't, it's by default for them, it's them old motherfuckers. Uh, Y'all just need to stop putting their clothes on. Stop making excuses. Stop accepting them apology. If you see a model in their clothes, nigga, you know what it is. It's that simple. Nigga, start investing in, into black high fashion. They all on Instagram. They Y'all call it boutique clothes and degrade them. Black high fashion if you're a black person. It's that simple. It's not being racist, not picking sides. That's how it goes. You All right, so you guys just saw what those celebrities have to say. So a lot of folks online, hashtagging fuck Gucci, Gucci boycott. But you know who's not boycotting Gucci? As of this morning, Floyd Mayweather, yes, the boxer, was caught going into the Gucci store. And basically, he said he's going to wear what the fuck he wants to wear. Can't nobody tell him what he can and can't do with his money, okay? Y'all go ahead and drop this small snippet from TMZ, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. You know, they, they had the blackface sweater, and, you know, a lot of prominent artists are dropping them. What? You know, black Man, people. listen, I don't got nothing against nobody. Really? Um, my thing is this, I support everybody, I like everybody. And my thing is this, I like to live life and do and do what I like to do. I'm not no follower, I do what the fuck I wanna do. Right. Uh, because everybody say, uh, wear this, or don't wear this, I'm wear what the fuck I wanna wear. Will, I'm about to go in the Gucci. Will you just... A few more Gucci little clothes that I, that I bought and I'm gonna wear it. Fuck y'all, I got to go on, bitch. I'm gonna wear my Gucci. And hey, listen, honestly, I don't really feel like them people, like, people like, I'm black, right? And I'm thug to the bone, right? I fuck with white people, right? But sometimes black people do be reaching. So, like, for no reason, just be reaching for little shit. Them people ain't do nothing. Them people ain't say nothing about no racist shit. Them people just had a little ski mask. It's all kind of ski masks in the world, bro. Huh? People don't want no racist shit, bitch. How about y'all go shoot up the KKK then? How about, okay, I, how about, okay, if everybody feel like it's, 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 it's on some other shit, on some other shit, how about, 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 how about go, go surround got them on what you call? <laughs> Honey. Are y'all shocked? Come on now. Floyd Mayweather's the same guy who was chilling at a Donald Trump event, okay? I'm not shocked at all, but this is why we really can't get nowhere because there's no code. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's doing their own thing. But with that being said, I'm not buying this boycott either. I'm not going to run out and go buy Gucci, but I'm also not going to be a part of this damn mush mouth boycott. Because at the end of the day, most of the people who are up here talking about hashtag fuck Gucci and pretending to burn their Gucci bags know that they're damn knockoffs, okay? Most of the people who are talking that shit don't own Gucci, can't afford damn Gucci, you know what I mean? So I don't want to hear all that, fuck Gucci, I'm boycotting Gucci. It's very easy to boycott some shit that you don't have in your damn closet. Just like with Netflix. It's very easy to boycott Netflix when you aren't paying for this shit in the first damn place, okay? Now, what Gucci did was all the way disrespectful, and like I've been saying on my live streams, I'm not buying the we didn't know, I'm tired of the whole willfully ignorant stance that a lot of these white companies take once they fuck up all of a sudden we didn't know any better we saw no correlation that's strange that nobody on their team saw any correlation with that being in blackface you know so i think that that's bullshit but with that being said i also feel like this boycott is bullshit okay so we boycott gucci for three months nobody wears gucci and then what does gucci shut down no 
Because at the end of the day, most of the people who are buying who can afford Gucci are not your average black consumers. They don't give a damn about y'all's protests. They don't care about y'all not wearing their brands because most of the folks who support and rock Gucci don't even live in America. They're over there in Italy and stuff like that. Gucci is a fashion house that's been around for years. They're not going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? My thing is this, instead of trying to promote, you know, boycotting Gucci for three months, don't wear Gucci perfume, don't wear Gucci belts, how about y'all promote black fashion designers how about y'all promote black fashion lines how about y'all promote black businesses that's what i would respect more if ti said you know what we're gonna take all the money that we would have spent at gucci you know what i'm saying for this damn 895 dollars sweater let's take that 800 dollars and let's you know divvy that up and go support black businesses let's go help the black realtor let's go help the damn black tea company okay Let's go help all types of, you know, black entrepreneurs, black clothing designers, black sunglass makers. That would make more sense to me than to just tell people to just boycott Gucci. You know, and I think that's the crazy part of this situation is that you have a lot of folks who jump on these social media trends, once again, looking for attention, trying to seem super woke. But at the end of the day, are they supporting black businesses? Are they shouting out black businesses? Are they wearing clothing? on the red carpet from black designers? Are they showing off brands on their Instagram from black designers? Nine times out of 10, they're not. They're on Instagram flossing, drip from head to toe in Givenchy, Louis Vuitton, Tommy Hilfiger, Prada, Fendi and everything else, okay? That's what most of these black celebrities are wearing on social media. So much so that regular black folks on social media are, are going broke trying to imitate them and trying to run out and go buy four and five hundred dollar shirts and shoes and everything else that they know damn well they can't damn afford, okay? And my thing is, why is whenever something like this happens, it's always on the regular folks to stand up and boycott? How about T.I., how about you tell your rap buddies to stop shouting out Gucci in their music? How about that? You know what I'm saying? How about they start shouting out black designers when they're rapping? You know, how about not rapping about Versace, 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 and maybe some, you know, black brands? You know, how about that shit? How about not flossing all of this high-end stuff, knowing that most of those high-end brands don't really respect your dollars, you know what I mean? And another thing, Gucci Man, the man who's named after Gucci, he's been relatively silent. And we all know he wears nothing but Gucci from head to toe. His wife, Keisha K. Orr, she wears Gucci all the time as well. So I find it very funny that they're very quiet with this situation. I don't think they're gonna stop wearing Gucci. I don't think they're gonna boycott shit. You know, and as far as Floyd Mayweather, like I said, I'm not surprised by any of his antics. You know, even though I'm not a fan of Uncle Rush Car, he did make some good points because we talked about this when I did the documentaries and discussions a few months ago. I'm um, on the documentary called Fresh Dress and how they drove a lot of these black businesses to failure because people weren't supporting them. You know what I'm saying? They got oversaturated. Macy's wasn't carrying them. They were calling them urban as opposed to, you know, just calling them, you know, high-end designs, just like the other people who are making the same type of designs, the same type of fabric and everything else. So a lot of these, you know, fashion houses help to destroy the fat farms, the baby fats, you know, and all the other stuff that was really, really popping back in the 90s to the 2000s. So, you know, this entire situation is interesting. I'm going to be very interested to see if Soulja Boy actually removes the Gucci tattoo and I'm going to be very interested to see what happens three months from now when all these celebrities quietly go back to wearing Gucci, Louis, Fendi, Prada, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Gucci, I hear fucking up and making blackface sweaters and T.I. and many black celebrities calling for a boycott of Gucci. How do you guys feel about this situation? And then how do you guys feel about Floyd Mayweather basically saying, you know what? He's going to do what he wants to do. He's going to wear what he wants to wear and he's going to spend his money how he sees fit. Let me know your thoughts. All right. Deuces.